Well, welcome back to Pine Belt. As far as your weather goes today, it's going to start a bit on the damp and dreary side and a little bit stormy side, depending on where you are. Uh, if you're in the far southeastern corner of the Pine Belt at this exact moment, you've probably still got at least some rain happening, if not still a few thunderstorms, but that is rapidly leaving the area. In fact, you see our rain chances basically drop to nothing, uh, basically immediately. 20% uh, is rather generous for 7 o'clock as it will barely uh, still be holding on to that cloud cover as we'll start clearing that pretty soon thanks to these northerly winds. So a C minus mostly for the cloudiness, the dreariness, the dampness of the morning with clearing skies into the night leading to cold weather returning, at least for the morning hours. Our afternoons aren't going to get all that uh, cool out there. They are going to get cooler, just not, not cool. So they're going to be on the mild to warm side, if you ask me. But looking outside right now, it certainly cooled down some 62 degrees at Laurel Ford and Laurel. That is, uh, again, our afternoon high where it should be for this time of year. So interesting that we're there before sunrise. With uh, just under two inches of rain there, you can see a little bit more rain out here in Hattiesburg. Uh, for the last 24 hours with the low clouds, you can see kind of the fogginess as well and still the little uh, drizzle coming down from time to time, hence that 20% chance we won't shake the rain or precipitation completely until we head through the next couple of hours here. So things will be breezy and damp for your drive time forecast. As you can see here, your morning commute not looking too bad. Went with a yellow light, maybe just slow down a bit with the roads being uh, slick out there with that rain having left us. Otherwise, expect just kind of cloudy skies and uh, some patchy fog, very likely at least. I don't believe it'll be too widespread or dense uh, this far north, though, as if it's pretty good down on the coast tell you that much. So your hour by hour planner here is still showing again at least a few sprinkles holding on once we head into the late morning we'll start warming up as the sun comes up we won't see a ton of it but once we head past lunchtime that's when we can start expecting to noticeably see the sky thinning but also that's when you know sun sets and then we can't see too much at that point and that'll lead us into a clearer and cooler night ahead. So as we look at the southern pine electric radar here you can see that front Brought some pretty active weather earlier on. Now it's just barely hanging on to our southernmost counties here. But every now and then there's still a little pocket here. See, this is what I'm talking about. Going to pass, look like, to the south of Hattiesburg, kind of getting northwest Perry there uh, here over the next hour. It doesn't look like it has anything more than some heavier rain mixed in there. But as far as where we are now, you can still see at least a few uh, tornado watches on. That's why I'm here, just to be watching to make sure nothing uh, silly happens on their, its way out of town, as it has already brought us a good amount of rainfall. Nothing too crazy outside of uh, Clark County, I would say, as we're looking at just under half a foot of rain there for the last 24 hours with uh, over two and a half, close to four there up near McGee. And then uh, the further south you go, the, the more and more it becomes a little bit more on the on the inconsistent side, trace amounts. As far as hail goes, we did have some reported near Columbia and Laurel, very likely those very similar storms passing through the area there. One of those an inch and a half, one of those just under an inch. Uh, again, saw some good pictures of that uh, earlier on in the newscast. As far as rain goes, we won't see any for the rest of the week until we start heading towards Friday and Saturday. Saturday, I've, I had some larger numbers for, and of course, you're not seeing too much there. We're going to see how that shakes out. I uh, wasn't feeling too good about that one anyway. Rather iffy, if you ask me. But there's that cold weather we've been talking about. All you fans of the cooler winter weather have been wanting it. A couple of frosty mornings coming up. But you see, even then, it doesn't last too long. And once again, we'll be right back into the 70s by the end of the week, ahead of that next front moving through. That will bring us some rain and a little cool down. But here it is. It's not looking very impressive. Not as much as the last couple of ones. So finally looking like at least a little bit of a drier weekend coming up, but we still have at least those clouds building and at least a few showers going to move in.